I walked 20,000 steps daily for 30 days. And here's how it went. A challenge is an opportunity to grow. And anyone who knows me also knows that growth to me is like water. If I don't challenge myself at least a little bit, life becomes stagnant and dull. I'm also a big believer in the famous saying, movement is life, because it is. The best way to prolong your life is to stretch, build, and strengthen your body. I've always loved long walks, and for the last two months had religiously gathered at least 10k steps daily. So I thought, why not challenge myself physically and try to move a bit more? Why not try to walk 20,000 steps daily for 30 days? Day one of my 30 day 20K step challenge. I am doing this because I, first of all, love a good challenge. That is not a secret. Second of all, it's healthy to walk. Third of all, I want to see what it does to my body, physically, mentally, emotionally. I just think it's going to be fun. So here we go. It is day one. I have currently walked. Give me a second. Ugh. Give me a second. I don't see it. I'm at 4K steps just 16k to go but I have the whole day I'm gonna walk for about an hour and 20 minutes go home work a little bit and then finish my day with another hour something and I think that should lead me to 20k let's do it I'm so excited let's do it and so I started my challenge journey it wouldn't be my journey without at least one revelation right from the start. I think the key to actually walking long distances is not to think about the end goal, but experience the journey and the walking in itself. And that led me to another thought. Can we just apply it to everything in life? The way to enjoy things is to enjoy the road, enjoy the journey. Do not think necessarily about the end goal because then you're constantly living in the future. So that's just something, uh, something to keep in mind. I call week one the learning week. After my first day, I realized that it's not so smart to try to pack all your steps in one or two walks, but rather spread it out. I was also reminded by my body that nutrition and good calorie intake is even more crucial at this period. For the first couple of days, my legs felt extremely tired. However, my mind couldn't have been in a more happy and grateful state. I'm good to go. The thing that I have noticed the most so far in three days is that the first hour is the easiest. I feel the most strength. I feel good. He said something to me. And then the next hour, I feel my legs getting tired. Not so pleasant, but I'm powering through. So far, I feel good. I feel like a good night's sleep is super important. Food is super important. That's why I'm packing the snack. One not so fun thing about this whole walking is I love woods and I've been walking in the woods a lot. In case you don't know, I'm very allergic to mosquito bites. This is not one of those, oh, a mosquito bites me and I have a little dot. No, it's like, like big red thing on my skin. So, Today I went to the pharmacy and I didn't buy the cheap, you know, sprays. I bought actually a more expensive one uh, that says that it works up to nine hours. So I sprayed it all over me so no mosquito touches me. I'm prepared. I'm good. Day three. Let's go. Much to do. Let's go. Never had I appreciated good shoes more than during this challenge. On day four, I gave myself the biggest tip of the week. Ilva, if you're going on long walks, wear comfortable shoes. I don't know why I thought, oh, I'm going to wear these new sandals I have. And I feel like I have at least four or five blisters. So 
my feet are dying. I think I'm slowly getting into that age or like becoming of that age where you buy comfortable shoes, right? Like I think I'm too old to buy just cheap shoes just because they look good, no more. With days passing by and my legs getting stronger with every step, I began to fully accept these long walks as my daily habit. I realized that instead of just getting from point A to point B, I could see each walk as a tiny journey. Exploring, philosophizing about life, listening to music, and from time to time, just stopping and enjoying the view. I had a really bad sleep tonight. I woke up at 4 a.m. from a horrible nightmare that while it was very scary, actually makes a lot of sense and I think it showed me a lot. But because of that nightmare and because I slept so badly, I'm taking it easy today, meaning I'm still walking the 20K steps, but uh, I'm sitting down, I'm enjoying the view. I'm walking at a really slow pace. My legs are used to it but there is a natural tiredness obviously you know i've walked i will have walked by the end of the day around 100k uh in this week which is a lot so i'm being patient i'm taking it easy yeah that's that's my week one when you're walking four to five hours daily you quickly learn that keeping a good company can often make the walks more fun and enjoyable during these 30 days, if I wanted to meet or hang out with anyone, I would immediately suggest a walk. That way, I could socialize and get my steps in at once. I'm really excited about how much I'm getting used to the actual walking and moving. I love that walking is becoming such a strong part of my life. I'm really enjoying it. With now being used to the high amounts of daily movement, I was slowly starting to realize what the real challenge was. It wasn't the steps or feeling tired. It wasn't about finding motivation. It was something completely else. We are halfway through. I can't believe how fast time flies. My legs are more than used to this. Physically, this isn't as challenging as sometimes time-wise challenging because it takes about four hours a day of walking to get to 20K, which means I really need to come to terms that for this month it's okay that this is like a part of my job because I can do everything I need to walk I need to do this challenge so sometimes in my walks I edit on my phone like little videos I listen to books to kind of make these walks useful so it hasn't been challenging physically but more so how do I fit this in my routine and actually do work and walk but I keep reminding myself that this is not only just a 30-day challenge, but also this is natural. This is what our bodies should be doing. We should be moving. We shouldn't just be sitting all day. I think we're just used to sitting so much that 20K seems like so much, but actually it's, it's not really, to be honest. We see walking as this very, mm, walking does nothing for your body. That is not true. It's just that the results maybe are not, they can be tied to every goal, right? If you want to build super big muscles, probably walking is not it, but it is a physical movement. It does so much for your heart, for your digestive system, for your back, for your muscles, a lot. I'm excited for the other 15 days, for the other half. I think they're gonna pass by as fast as, as these 15 days. But yeah, let's do it. One of the most beautiful things about going on long walks is how much they can transform your mental state. I had a couple of mornings where I didn't feel so good and had no interest in gathering thousands of steps. But after just an hour of walking, my whole mood changed. It was like a bunch of happy hormones rushed to my brain and shifted my whole perspective. It was during walks I would generate the most ideas and feel the most peaceful. I made two videos in the morning being whiny, how I'm tired, and this is exhausting. And I went on a walk and now it's been one hour and the energy I have, the happiness hormone I feel, just gives you something. Like I literally feel 
happy. So if you're feeling like you don't want to do it, you don't want to go outside, go outside. Like I maybe even will insert a before and after of shots. Mm. I'm just, I'm kind of done today. I want to sleep. And just look at me now. I'm like full of energy and nothing changed except I went on a nice walk, drank some water, met a kitty. Now, I gotta say that 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 could be the reason. I'm just saying what walks give to you is just it's a gift. It's magic. Later in the evening, I was meeting a friend and chose a rather sketchy path. So another way to get your steps in is to go through sketchy trails when you want to meet your friends. So not drive, but just go on really sketchy trails. And apparently this is actual trail in the maps. I'm like in the woods, so creepy. This trail is literally in the map. Are you kidding me? Oh geez, but now I'm good. Now I'm good, now I'm walking. Soon it was day 20 of the challenge. And although I had 10 more days left, I couldn't help but feel as if I was already slowly crossing the finish line. I thought I would share what I've been loving so far and what I haven't been loving so far. Firstly, and I've mentioned this thousands of times, but the mental clarity, the ideas that are generated, it's like my mind is tidying itself up. It's, I love it. Second, I didn't expect it, but I really do feel my body getting stronger. Not that I didn't expect that walks do that, but it's only been 20 days. I, I thought it would take like 30, 50 days. My abs are getting stronger. Obviously my legs are like totally used to the distance. So it's actually kind of amazing how fast the body adapts. And then there are two things that I'm not as fond of. First one, I'm in my trainers 90% of the time and uh, I miss wearing other shoes and I can't wait to wear other shoes. The second thing, I don't have time for any other workouts and I miss doing other workouts. It's not that the 20K take that much, but sometimes I sit down, sometimes I go to a store. It just, it's sometimes I walk slower, sometimes I walk faster. So if I thought that this would take three to four hours, it actually takes four to five. And I miss doing other workouts, but I can't squeeze them in because this already takes so long. But yeah. I'm so happy, I'm so happy that 20 days have passed and I have done every single day. I've always finished my day with 20 and more K steps. Usually, since I finish my walks on 20 and then I walk around the house, I finish at like 21, 20 K, 21, 22 K. But yeah, let's do it. 10 days to go. I still sometimes walk and I'm like, I cannot believe that this is my job. This is what I see as my job of moving, learning languages, reading books, walking, you know, traveling, exploring, learning is a part of my job. And this challenge is a part of my job. And I, I can't believe it because this is what I've always wanted. This is what I've imagined my life looked like. And I love this. So no matter how hard or difficult or whatever it is, I love this and I'm so excited that I'm doing this and I'm having the best, you know, time. So here's to the last week of the challenge. Let's give it all. Maybe let's do a little bit more than 20K every day and let's finish on the best happy note. The final week was full of ups and downs. I experienced some back pain and quickly realized that just because I walk so much does not mean I can skip stretching and strength workouts. On the other hand, I felt proud of my determination, grateful for the beautiful walks, and happy about the two lost kilos. So it's day 28 and I feel like this last week has been ups and downs emotionally. From one side, I've been like, I'm done with this challenge. <laughs> I want to do other exercises. But then there's the other side of just really appreciating the 
long walks, you know? When I don't have to do it, I want to do it. It's just when you feel like you need to do it, then you don't want to do it. I need to remember that walks in the morning and in the night are the best. I can't walk in the like midday heat. And I can't deny that I'm happy about the two kilos I've lost, you know? Because I have been eating the same, which means this is just, you know, something my body got rid of <laughs> with exercise and not. I prefer the skinny look, so that makes me happy. <laughs> but yeah, let's do it. Two days to go. I'm now walking the last 800 steps of my challenge, so we're almost at the finish line. And how does that make you feel? Very proud. Like I actually did it. 30 days of like determination and four hours of walking every single day. I feel proud. Did you have any doubts at any moment that you won't be able to do it? No, no, not even a little bit. I'm just very determined. I knew that I would do it. And uh, we're almost there. <laughs> Let's go. Almost. Two, one, done. Oh my gosh. We did it. We did it. We walked 20,000 steps daily for 30 days. I literally don't have anything else to say. I usually have so much to say, but I'm just happy. I'm grateful. It feels weird that I really did do it. Not in a sense where I can't believe I, I did it because I, I believe that I would have done it. It's just that weird that it's done. The 30 days have passed and uh, we did it. Uh, yay! Oh my gosh, we did it. We did it.